Hi guys, my name is Raz with AutoDS and today we'll be explaining how to use full item edit to change one of your items on your active listings. To get started, please go to the left side menu bar and click on your active listings tab. Once you're here, you'll be able to see all of the items that are currently live and being monitored by AutoDS. To edit an item, we can either click on the short edit icon right next to it, we'll need to scroll to the bottom, and click on full item edit. Alternatively, you can always click on the item picture. This will open up full item edit in a new separate tab, leaving the active listings tab open in case you'll need it for later use. For now, I'll click on the picture. Next, the system will take us directly to the full item edit page for our listing. Here, we'll be able to change all features relating with this item. Let's start by editing the title. AutoDS has two great features for title optimizing. The first one is Remove Signs. In case your title has punctuation marks, dashes, or other unnecessary signs, clicking on Remove Signs will eliminate them from your title. Here, you can see remaining characters, so when doing title editing, you can add relevant keywords, and always see that you are well within desired frame. We can of course delete, if necessary. For the purposes of this video, we'll be leaving the title as is. Let's scroll down and have a look at variations. Here you can see all available item variations. If I'd like to delete a variation, all I need to do is click on the delete icon right here. If I'd like to add a variation in the item edit page, I'll click on the plus sign and enter the item ID. Next I'll click on grab variant. and you can see we've added a variation. To edit our variation, we'll need to click on Show Variation. Here, we'll be able to see all relevant information for each one of these variations. So we have Quantity, Sell Price, Additional Percentage Profit, Additional Profit, Break Even Settings, Final Estimated Profit, and source product price as taken in AutoDS's last scan. Now of course we can edit all of these from here. Let's start by changing quantity, sell price, additional profit, break even settings, and additional profit settings. Now you can see that each variation has completely different settings. Of course this is ok as AutoDS monitors each variation separately for you and so can handle as many variations as necessary with different settings for each one. Let's scroll down some more and have a look at item specifics. Here we'll have all the specific information about our listing. So we have suggested category. Please note that under Suggested Category, you'll have the category that's being offered by eBay itself based on the keywords in the title. The system will automatically select the first category offered by eBay. We can of course change category manually by clicking on Let me choose a category. Next, we'll need to enter the category ID and click on Load Category. If you're not sure how to manually change a category for your item, please watch the video for that directly in the Help Center on AutoDS.com. If we scroll down some more, we can see our item specifics. Of course, we can delete an item specific or add an item specific. Let's add gift great gift and click on add specific. We can also copy the item specifics from a different eBay listing. I'll need to paste the eBay listing that I want 
and click on copy specifics. The system will take all of the item specifics from that eBay listing. Let's scroll down some more and have a look at pictures. Here we can see the pictures available for our item. We can of course duplicate a picture. Duplicate a picture up to the allowed 12 maximum and delete a picture. Let's delete a few pictures so we can continue editing. Here we have the browse option to add a picture. I'll select the picture that I want and I'll click on open. I can also click on create collage. I'll select the main picture and this feature will create a collage from our selected picture and the following three pictures. Next to that we have three image collage. This will make a larger main picture and two smaller pictures beneath it. If I want I can also set a watermark on one of my images. If you want to learn more about using watermarks, please watch the video tutorial relating for that directly in our help center on autodesk.com. Next I can add a picture from a URL. I'll need the picture URL that I want and I'll enter it here. Whenever I'm ready, I'll select the main picture that I want. This will be the first picture in my listing and all other pictures will appear next to it in this order. Let's scroll down some more and have a look at templates. Here we have our template ready for editing. Let's change templates. I'll be changing this one to Simply Blue. We'll click on Refresh Template. Our new template now appears with our selected main picture and our edited title. If we scroll down some more, you can edit, delete, or remove any characters from your template as necessary. Further down you can see mobile view. Of course all AutoDS templates are mobile friendly. Making sure your listing and items look professional when surfing on mobile devices as well. As many clients are of course buying directly from their phone. And lastly, on the bottom of the page, here you can see your eBay business policies. So payment policy, return policy, and shipping policy. You can of course select to custom upload your own policy for this listing. But I'll be using my existing eBay business policies for this one. Down here you have the source product site and the source product ID. If you'd like to change the product ID to be monitored, you can enter a new product ID here and click on grab all details. Of course, a separate video explaining how to do this in more detail is also available on our help center. Further down, we have the option to select or add a tag, allow marketplace for the monitoring of non-prime items, and change the listing into a private listing on eBay whenever it's possible. Whenever I'm ready, I'll click on Save Changes. System will ask us for confirmation. And that's it. Successfully updated product details. I hope you have enjoyed this quick tutorial about how to use full item edit on AutoDS. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.